One of my favorite family food treats is the Belgian waffle. The indentations increase the crispiness of the surface area and at the same time entrap any tasty morsels that are added on top. But of all the things I've conjured up in the kitchen, there are few things that have the ability to create as much mess as waffle batter. The reason for this is that the fluid batter used to make pancakes and waffles actually doubles in size as it cooks. This expansion process is critical to the end result as it traps gases inside the waffle structure to make it light and fluffy on the inside, just like a sponge. A sponge trapped in a crispy, toasted exterior. I'm just mixing together some milk with some baking powder. Those are two of the core ingredients in batter. Now I'll quickly pop this balloon on the, over the uh, jar. You can see this balloon starts to expand. Now what's happening is a chemical reaction happening here in which immediately creates gas expanding so quickly it starts to fill this balloon. And once the gas bubbles created through this reaction in the batter come into contact with heat, they expand making the batter much, much bigger. What's unique about waffle makers versus say making pancakes or crepes is that they trap the batter, pressing on them from above and below in a mostly enclosed chamber. Now when you try to trap something in an enclosed chamber that's rapidly expanding, it's pretty hard to avoid some overflow no matter how careful you are measuring out your servings. As you can see here, this waffle batter has no place to go but outwards over the sides of the machine and eventually onto the bench. The design team at Breville have also found this side effect of waffle making somewhat annoying. So they delved into some medieval history until they uncovered a novel historic solution. So, just like a traditional English castle, the Breville waffle makers have a moat. The moat not only catches batter overflow to prevent it from dirtying the waffle maker and the bench, it also cooks the excess batter at the same time, making it faster and simpler to wipe off once you finish cooking. Of course, there's more to delicious waffles than making them easier to clean. So the heating elements in the Breville Smart Waffles have been designed using thermal imagery to make sure the waffles are evenly browned from corner to corner. Better still, Breville's Waffle IQ measures the temperature of the waffle plates and then, based on your favourite browning setting and whether you're making Belgian, classic, chocolate, buttermilk, or even custom waffles, it automatically calculates the required cooking time the moment you close the lid. And of course, if you decide you want your waffles that little bit crispier, you can always give it a bit more. The Breville Smart Waffle. Delicious waffles every time and without the mess. Hi, I'm Mary Rogers and this is the Cuisinart Classic Round Waffle Maker. It has a brushed stainless steel housing with black accents on the handle. Stay cool handle so you can lift it up to use it. It has a browning control in the front, goes from one to five, one being the lightest, five being the darkest. I preheated this so the green light's on, that's the ready to bake light. Also, when you um, close it, you'll see what I'm gonna do. We're gonna close it after we put the batter in, the light'll go off. And then what'll happen is when it's ready to eat, it'll go back on again. So let's go ahead and make some waffles. It's really easy to do. There's so many different kinds of, I just want to stir this up a little bit because it has chocolate chips in it. There's so many great kinds of waffles to make. This one happens to make a, like I said, a traditional round style waffle. Pour the batter right in the center and then we're going to close it. You'll notice it's also going to have four triangles, which you can actually cut into smaller pieces. But there's lots of great things you can do with waffles other than the traditional type. You can make savory waffles. You can use it to make chicken and waffles. You can do rosemary and salt and pepper and cheese. There's also lots of chocolate type waffles. So let's um, wait a few minutes. And when um, the light comes back on, we're going to know our waffle is ready to eat. So let's check on our waffle. Look how beautiful it came out. I'm just going to use the tongs to get it out from the top, pull it away, put it down, and notice how you can cut it into little triangles if you want to share it with somebody, want to cut it in half, just eat half. And there you have it, a beautiful brown and crispy waffle using the classic Cuisinart waffle maker.
Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and this is the Cuisinart Double Belgian Waffle Maker. So it's a lot of fun to use. The great thing about it is it cooks two large Belgian waffles at the same time and two very deep pocketed waffles. So they're about one inch deep. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a classic Belgian waffle batter, and we're gonna bake some waffles. So the first thing you're going to do is this is our flour. We're gonna add our salt to the flour and we're just gonna um, incorporate it just very quickly. And then what we're gonna do is, in this bowl here, I already um, started the yeast portion. So I put the yeast, half of the water, and a pinch of sugar into this bowl, and you're supposed to let it set between five and 10 minutes, but you can see it's very um, fluffy now. So to that, we're going to add the, um, some of our liquid ingredients. First, the three egg yolks, one egg white, the sugar, this happens to be organic. Then what we're going to do is we're going to um, incorporate that. So it's nicely incorporated. And then to this liquid batter, we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients, which is the rest of the water, the butter, milk. Just going to put this aside. Vanilla. And then a little bit of um, oil. So, just mix that thoroughly. And then what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate our dry ingredients to the liquid. So you're gonna incorporate this until it is um, smooth. And then after we've incorporated all the dry ingredients, which I'm almost finished, we're going to fold in um, some egg whites. And the egg whites were already um, beaten until about a stiff peak. So I'm just going to add that and then incorporate it. That. Just turn the bowl and be, you know, gentle. The egg whites will add um, a really nice texture and also a lightness to your waffles. We have a little batter cup that you're gonna use and that's perfect um, because it, it will give you the exact amount of batter that you need to add to um, each of the, the waffle plates. First thing we're gonna do when we open the waffle maker is we're going to season the plates with just a little bit of oil. Um, we just recommend that you do that. It helps to, um, for the nonstick plates to uh, release the waffle very easily when you're done cooking it. Scoop up some of the batter, add it to the plate. I'm going to close it, turn it, open the other side. Once again, we're going to season this side too. Let's not forget that. Close it again and turn. And now what we're gonna do is let it bake and when we come back, I'm gonna serve it up for you. So let's check on our waffle. I could have definitely put more batter in, that's for sure. And if this is a little too light for your liking, you can easily um, put it on a little bit higher. I like it usually a little bit darker than that. Oh, I guess I really get, came up with the case of the shorts here. Whoops. Forgot to wait till that one was done. So there you have it. Let's make it um, look a little more appealing. You can use fresh fruit. You can use ice cream, whipped cream, whipped topping. Make it look really nice. So there you have it, the Cuisinart Double Belgian Waffle Maker. Make homemade waffles the easy way with the Hamilton Beach Mess-Free Waffle Maker. 
offering three times the mess protection of ordinary waffle makers. The adjustable temperature dial allows you to control the browning so your waffle cooks the way you want it. The batter cup is designed to hold exactly the amount you need for a perfectly shaped waffle every time. But should batter escape, it is quickly caught in an overflow channel. The deep grid design keeps batter inside, and removal is easy thanks to the Durathon ceramic non-stick coating, four times more durable than traditional non-stick. You'll know when it's finished with the easy-to-read on and ready lights. Now that's good.